sir. Very well. The, the, the weather report, Mr. Jefferson of Virginia. Mr. Jefferson, present, sir. Uh, may we hear about the weather, as if it weren't speaking for itself? 87 degrees of temperature, 30.06 inches of mercury, wind from the southwest for the rest of the day and tonight. Tonight I'm leaving for home. Oh, on business? Family business. Oh, <laughs> you're yeah. doing it for me, young fella. <laughs> yes, sir, I will. <laughs> yeah. Answer straight. What would be a perfect place? Yes. yes, well. To yes. place before mankind the common sense of the subject in terms so plain and firm as to command their assent. This business needs a Virginia. Therefore, I propose a replacement, Mr. Thomas Jefferson. No, Mr. Adams, no. Very well, Mr. Adams. Mr. Jefferson will serve. I'm going home, too, to my Move wife. Move to adjourn. Second. Oh, wait! It's been six months since I've seen her. Move! Seconded. Any objections? I have objections. Lots of objections. No, no, no. So rude. I have to see my wife. Well, Mr. Jefferson. Mr. Adams, leave me alone. Well, Mr. Jefferson, Mr. Adams, I beg of you, I've not seen my wife these six months. Expression. Now, will you be a patriot or a lover? A lover. No! And I burn, Mr. A. So do I, Mr. J. You. You do? John. Who thought it? Now, you will write it, Mr. J. Who will make me Mr. A? I. You. Yes. <laughs> By physical force of necessary. <laughs> it's your duty, man, your duty. Mr. Adams, damn you, Mr. Adams. Your obnoxious and dislight that cannot be denied. Once again you stand between me and my lovely bride. bride. Mr. Adams, you are driving me to homicide. A whole week, Jefferson. The entire Earth was created in one week. Someday you must tell me how you did it. <laughs> Disgusting. Look at him, Franklin. Virginia's most famous lover. Virginia abstains. <laughs> Cheer up, Jefferson. Get out of the dumps. It'll come out right, I promise you. Now get back to work. Franklin, make him get to work. Uh, you, hello. Uh, whose little girl are you? Uh, John, who is she? His wife, I hope. What makes you think so? Because I sent for her. You what? It simply occurred to me that the sooner his problem was solved, the sooner our problem was solved. He tucks it right under his chin, and he bawls, oh, he bawls, for he knows, yes, he knows, that it's hard, Everybody's from Philadelphia, Franklin. <laughs> but I am curious about one thing. Why do you refer to King George as a tyrant? Because he is a tyrant. Here, here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I remind you, Mr. Jefferson, that this Tyrant is still your king. <laughs> when a king becomes a tyrant, he thereby breaks the contract binding his subjects to him. How so? By taking away their rights. Rights that came from him in the first place. All except one. The right to be free comes from nature. Here, here, huzzah. Mr. Wilson, 
Do we in Pennsylvania consider King George a tyrant? Oh, I don't know. Uh, oh, um, no, no, uh, he is not a tyrant in Pennsylvania. Oh, there you are, Mr. Jefferson. Your declaration does not speak for us all. I demand the word tyrant be removed. Just a moment, Mr. Thompson. I do not consent. The king is a tyrant whether we say so or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We might as well say so. That's all. But I already I... scratched it out. Then scratch it back in. <laughs> Put it back, Mr. Thompson. The king will remain a tyrant. Uh, Mr. Jefferson, I can't quite make out what it is you're talking about. Slavery, Mr. Rutledge. Ah, yes, you're referring to us as slaves of the king. No, sir, I'm referring to our slaves. Black slaves. Ah. Black slaves. Why didn't you say so, sir? Were you trying to hide your meaning? No, sir. Just another literary license, then. If you like. I don't like at all, Mr. Jefferson. To us in South Carolina, black slavery is our peculiar institution and a cherished way of life. Nevertheless, we must abolish it. Nothing is more certainly written in the Book of Fate than that this people shall be free. I'm not concerned with the Book of Fate right now, sir. I'm more concerned with what's written in your little paper there. They are here, yes, sir. But they are not people. They are property. No, sir! They are people who are being treated as property. I tell you, the rights of human nature are deeply wounded by this infamous practice. Then see to your own wounds, Mr. Jefferson, for you are a practitioner, are you not? I have already resolved to release my slaves. Resolved. Well. Well, then, I am sorry, sir, for you have also resolved the ruination of your personal economy. Economy? Yes, Mr. Jefferson. It so happens that the word is unalienable, not inalienable. Oh, 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 oh. I'm yes. sorry, Mr. Adams. Inalienable is correct. I happen to be a Harvard graduate. Oh. Oh. And I attended William and Mary, Mr. Oh. Adams. Oh. Gentlemen, please, Mr. Jefferson, will you yield to Mr. Adams' request? No, sir, I will not. Oh. <laughs> Very well, I will draw. Well, good for you, John. Well done.